Uh, we're going to move on. Next up, um, uh, the estate of Wilfred Richard James Bozerman versus William Rico. Let's go ahead and set forth our appearances. Good morning, Honor. This is Matt Johnson on behalf of the defendants. And good morning, Honor. This is Garrett Chase on behalf of the plaintiffs. Okay. And gentlemen, good morning. And uh, this is a simple status check regarding the sealing order as it pertains to the August 11, 2022 hearing. Where are we at on that? Yes, Your Honor. We've, the parties have submitted competing orders. Uh, Mr. Johnson's office actually submitted two different copies. I, I think he, on August 29th, submitted the preferred version for his competing order. Um, I've got a copy of our competing order here. It's also been submitted to the department inbox. The now, now, tell me this. I want to make sure it's clear, whether our record's clear here as far as status check. It says status check regarding sealing orders uh, from the August 11th sealing order regard from the August 11th, 2022 order. I do have um, it what appears to be orders that have been submitted uh, regarding, I guess, the motion to amend the findings of facts and conclusions of all pursuant to Rule 68. Is there something out there I don't know about? I don't believe so, Your Honor. This is the, the amended order that was the subject of our motion right. with regard to this court's findings on the dismissal and the sealing. Okay. And so that's what the that's the substance of the competing orders. At this point, I think Mr. Johnson's second competing order that he submitted is consistent with regard to the records that are sealed with ours. The discrepancy is in the findings concerning the dismissal. So Mr. Johnson's order, and he can con confirm if this is correct or, or not, but Mr. Johnson's order, he has a copy and paste of the transcript whereas the order that we submitted has actual findings derived from the findings that were stated on the record. Okay. And how did they differ? Uh, substantively, Your Honor, I don't think they do differ. I'm not sure what <laughs> Mr. Johnson's reason for not signing the proposed order that we sent to him was. He, he wouldn't tell me or explain that, and so I'd be interested to see what that is. But um, substantively, I, I think they have the right findings. It's just Mr. Johnson's is a copy and paste of the transcript. Ours are actually formally written findings. And Mr. Johnson, sir. Yes, Your Honor. Oh, anything you want to add to that as far as the differences I should look no, at? We, have unable, we were simply unable to agree on, on, the, on the order, and so I've submitted competing orders. I think that uh, Your Honor can look at them. We did take them directly from the transcript. Uh, so that there's nothing that has changed, and uh, we just request that you go ahead and, and sign the order. And, and I guess that's up to you ultimately which version you. I, I, I understand. I just wanted some clarification to make sure I wasn't missing something. And last but not least, as it relates to the ceiling issue, and I think I which one am I looking at here? I'm looking at plaintiff's order and. Um, I see there are specific findings made starting at paragraph 17 regarding the ceiling issue. And let me see here. And I guess, Mr. Johnson, you do the same thing. Yes, right? we did. All right. Okay. And, and just to clarify, Your Honor, um, there, one of the orders that Mr. Johnson submitted on August 19th had a different version of the ceiling language, which included sealing all exhibits to all motions. We don't think that's consistent with the court's order. He subsequently on the 29th said that was the wrong version. So as long as the court doesn't sign that version, we have no objection. Uh, or I don't think there's a dispute between the parties as to the scope of the ceiling. Obviously, our preference is still our competing order, but just so the record's clear on that point. All right, I understand. And we'll take a look at it. I have copies. I, before I sign any order, I'll make sure I have your last version, Mr. Johnson, so I can see that. Okay. And I appreciate you, okay? All right. Thank you. That's what we're Thank you, Your Honor. Okay, everyone, enjoy your day. You. Have a great day, Your Honor. Oh, yeah. Is it must be his birthday, huh? <laughs> okay.